Hi, how you doing? Top, top, top. My name's Duff. What is it? Duff. Duff? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Duff. How how old are you, bud? I'm uh, 36. 36? Oh, yeah. nice. My name's Mike. What's up, Mike? How you doing, brother? I'm all right, man. Uh, came down here to uh, Kensington, dude. You know, check out the uh, scenery and. Beautiful, yeah, yeah, it's nice. It smells, smells great, you know. Smells great. <laughs> free samples in the morning. This morning, hello. Um, why don't you why don't you tell me about the free samples? Uh, well, uh, you know, usually they got you know, usually they like to get the best shit out. Usually is the samples, you know. So, okay. You know, there's been times where I've gotten samples in places that were amazing. Like the best shit that I've ever did, and went back to try and find it, and they never. Been. It seems like the best samples and the best shit you can find for some reason. You know what I mean? Like they just give out samples. It's like they just give it away for some fucking reason, and then they don't fuck them on the side, and then they don't sell them in the black. It seems a little bit fucking strange, but you know. Uh, uh, well, yeah. Anyway, dude, I've been out out here on and off for about 15 years. I know the fucking area. I know everybody. I uh, hustle works, take people to the top, you know, a drug uh, tour guide, I guess you could say. Um, and basically, you know, stories, I have plenty of stories out here, you know, this is definitely, you know, it gets to a point where, you, you, you know, so much crazy shit happens out here that you just, the, the normal seems abnormal. The, no, the abnormal becomes normal. I mean, there was a dude running around naked on K and A just a second ago. Right. And, like, that was just like normal to me. It's just like right. what is out here. People smoke that K two shit and get retarded, you know, and and, and do yeah. retarded things and, and you know. <laughs> and that... I can kind of relate because you know I had I I have personally smoked K two and I'm not really a big fan of it or smoking too much. All the time I smoke it, it's being tricked because they say it's weed, and then I just take a when I take a hit of it and, and realize no. that fucking you know I've gotten uh, my mind seems to be elsewhere you know I, I got caught in a freaking painting before I felt like you know I one time I had to be hospitalized and I thought these like, when I went to the ambulance I thought they were going to fucking they were doing experiments to me and shit like that you know what I mean like your head gets into like. That shit fucks your head, fuck, fucks your head up, you know? And, yeah. Um, but yeah, fucking, I try to stay away from that shit. I'm more dope and crack and coke and all that fun stuff. But yeah. Okay. Um, have you seen any dead bodies out here? I mean, people up to die a dead out body here? Before in my bando. You what? Woke up to a dead body in my bando. Uh, next to me. A boy of mine, uh, my homie. What, what's in a bando? A bando is basically a place where you just, uh, you know, an abandoned house. Aban oh, okay. An abandoned house right. that nobody is vacating and you basically call it home. Ah. I've had plenty of them. But yeah. one of my boys who used to stay with me in my bando, we used to crash in the same bed. You know, no homo shit or nothing like that. Right. He used to just crash and just pass you out. And the one day, I guess he did, a, he did a hot shot or something. And when I woke up in the morning, the dude was dead. My, my boy, who was, yeah. So, wow. That was a little tough, you know. Uh, but, you know, that's just the way it is out here, dude. Dead bodies. You see dead bodies all over the fucking place around here, dude. It's like nuts, dude. Especially with this fentanyl shit going out. Everybody's fucking dying, fucking like, you know, you wouldn't believe. So, one dead body. It's, it's just insane, you know. It, but yeah, I woke up to a dead body. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, yeah. Dead bodies out here. Um, how are how are the how is it how are the cops out here? I mean, like, I mean, it I seems mean, like they got. They've been kind of lenient lately. You know what I mean? Because they're called COVID shit, but still they're dicks. They, they, you know, some of them are fucking. Some of them are alright, but like most of them, you know, they're ball breakers just like usual. But you know, lately they haven't been as much. It seems like they got their hands full, you know. Well, yeah, they obviously do. I mean, what happened is they did the dumb move about clo they, they they closed down the uh, they closed down the tracks 
which and there there literally were like neighborhoods in the tracks, like literally like people would build houses back there, and that's where they would stay. And when they closed down the tracks, now all these homeless people had nowhere to go. So that's why you see the infl the inflation of all these homeless people just sleeping wherever and all over. because they took away the places that you know they were living. Right. So now just homeless people are all over the fucking place. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And it's fucking nuts, you know. Oh yeah. It's fucking. <laughs> It never was like this. This shit just started, you know? This shit, all this craziness with the homeless people fucking all over the fucking place and fucking, you know, fucking. You know, it never used to be like this. And the cops don't even give a fuck. It's pretty crazy. You know how the cops don't give a fuck about anything that's going on. And I don't give a fuck. If the cops don't give a fuck, why the fuck should I give a fuck? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's. I. <laughs> I mean, it just—it really it seems they're like really over. It seems well, you know, it seems like they're they're really overwhelmed. overwhelmed I mean, like yeah, they, they're like outmatched big, big time. Outmatched, big time. Yeah, they can't. Yeah, they can't. Yeah, they can't. I mean, yeah, they they could try to shut something down, but I think you know, like there'd be like five popping up right in this place. You know, exactly. Exactly. they shut this block down. You know, they got the next nine blocks. Almost and, every corner is a drug corner, so it's like. If you what? You call it a sting, which is uh, where they watch the drug dealer. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but, you know, I'm a hustler. I know people. I make tons of money on a daily basis. <laughs> you know, I, I find money on a daily basis. I've had people just give me hundreds of dollars. Like, I was just walking, just walking around, you know what I mean? You know, and, you know, I have my good days, I have my bad days, you know, but, you know, no. It's very painful walk way here on fucking. When did they switch from uh, uh, heroin to to fentanyl? When did they make that switch? It's been about four years now. Four years? A good four or five years. Okay, what did that? Do you remember that switch? Do you, do yeah. you remember what it looked like? What yeah, it? Yeah, I remember it. The, I How? Got sober, right? When the switch was happening, but I remember they had fentanyl out here, and I used to like getting, you know, a couple bags of coke, and I throw a bag of fentanyl in there and mix them up, you know. Mm. And uh, then all of a sudden, I got sober. I was sober for three years. And while I was sober for three years, that's when the fentanyl fucking took over. And I was hearing about it, obviously, because I was when I was sober, I was right in Frankfurt. So it wasn't, it was basically right next to the Pendleton. Right. So I was hearing all about the fentanyl and how it's killing people. People were dying left and right from it. It was insane the amount of people that were dying off of fentanyl when it first got big. Is that and, because uh, it was strong? Yeah, yeah. It, what happens with the fentanyl is it's very strong in the beginning. You know, when people haven't done it. But yeah. once you build the tolerance, it fucking sucks. Oh, okay. It goes way better, I think. <laughs> for the long haul, but like, in the beginning now, yeah, you can, uh, very quickly, like, if you do a whole bag, when you first start, like, when you relapse, good chance you're gonna die. <laughs> like, you know what I mean, so. Is that including, say, if you have, like, if you're, say you're already doing something like heroin, and then you do, like, yeah. one bag. Yeah, that's including if you're doing heroin. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Fucking crazy. Uh, where'd you grow up? Longcrest. Longcrest? Yeah. Funny story. My dad's actually, you know, CFO at Hilton Worldwide. So he's a multi-millionaire. Chief financial officer. Yeah, he, and, and he's a multi-millionaire. And I'm here fucking around. I started off my running in, Cam in Camden, matter of fact. Camden. Camden, New Jersey. New Jersey. Right across the bridge. And then I uh, okay. What? Oh uh, yeah, that's uh. What happened if you don't mind me asking? That is the um trank. Oh, that's shit. trank. Yeah. Shit, they put in this shit anymore. It fucks your whole skin up. Um. 
Yeah, it fucks your skin off bad. That's what does. That's what it does to your skin. Go. <laughs> okay. Crazy, right? <laughs> yeah. It, it, to, to me, it, it, it reminds me of something I, I learned about called crocodile. Crocodile, yeah. Cro yeah, crocodile from over in uh, Siberia it's or something. It's not that. <laughs> it, it looks like it though, Some kind of. Some people say it is, but a lot of people are getting you know, they, they're fucked up. Yeah, it's a miss. Oh, it up, man. Do you need some antibiotics, bro? Yeah. Uh, I I just happen to have some with me. Oh, I'd awesome. be I'd be happy to uh, you know I'd be happy to give you some. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, I can definitely use antibiotics. I definitely need them for sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Obviously, you can tell. Yeah, that's yeah, that's rough. Yeah, you know, it sucks being out here sometimes. Winter's coming, and you know, I mean. And, and, been out here some winters, dude. Been out here. Snow, big ass snowstorms. Been out here. And, yeah. Is it? Sometimes I did my best work though out in the fucking snow. I made Nice. <laughs> Do you ever picture yourself, uh, you know, uh, getting out of here or leaving this this place or this lifestyle? Or? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I have. I have been. Like I said, I had like three years sober before so I know what it is to be sober I like being sober I did good sober but you know I gotta just get away from the area or get away just, just do what I gotta do you know can do you do you mind if I zoom in on your injury right there come over here to the light bud just for a second uh, this I broke my other camera this one unfortunately doesn't have a um a flash to light up but oh my gosh that is oh man that oh man i feel so bad for you bro yeah oh my god hold on just just hold still yeah it's fucked up yeah Fucked up all my ink too, man. Oh my god. Wow, bro. That all this nice ass ink I got. Yeah, gnarly, bro. You look like you slung down pretty pretty nice and shit. <laughs> well, hey man, it was it was really nice talking to you, bud. Um Thank you. This is like the third one of these things like that, so. Well, I mean I'd be glad I did blues, I did fucking I'd be glad to, you know come back and talk to you when I'm down here again if you know if we run into each other or something it's, it's not a big thing I'd, li I'd like to definitely like to check on your injuries and see how that's um you know yeah. going yeah hopefully man we'll, we'll definitely say some prayers for you but um uh I guess thanks for your time and and, and uh you know go ahead and say just say goodbye peace right <laughs> thank you